I'm Aaron Gold, welcome to Los Angeles, home of Rush Hour on the 405, where you too can have the experience of taking three days to drive 30 feet. Now when you're stuck in LA traffic, you want to be comfortable, so now I'm going to show you the hottest luxury cars here at the 2015 Los Angeles Auto Show. This is the facelifted Lincoln MKZ, my favorite Lincoln, which is a bit like saying that E. coli is my favorite bacteria. Now they've restyled the car. You can see they have this fantastic new grill, which was clearly borrowed from Jaguar. But the big news is under the hood. You can now get this car with a three liter twin turbo V6, 400 horsepower and 400 pound feet of torque. That makes it the most powerful Lincoln ever made. There'll also be a two liter car and a hybrid version. This is the new Buick LaCrosse. Now, I'm sure you're expecting me to break out all my old people car jokes. Can you get it with white walls? Where's the Geritol dispenser? Can I direct deposit my social security check? But you know what? These are really, really nice cars, and this LaCrosse represents the new face of Buick. This front end is going to be uh, grafted onto all of the Buick cars eventually. At least that's what we understand. Really beautiful interior. They've gone way upscale. They're using a ratchet-style transmission selector like you'll find in a BMW or a Chrysler. Uh, they've stretched the wheelbase by three inches, but they've only made the whole car about half an inch longer. So it has a smoother ride and more back seat room. 305 horsepower V6 engine, and it rides the, a, a stretch version of the platform that's under the new Malibu. Now it's kind of easy to dismiss Buick. It's kind of a, an old person's brand, but you know what the fact is? These are really lovely cars. They're classy, they're luxurious, they ride quietly. This could really be something worth looking at. This is the new Cadillac XT5, the car that takes over from the SRX. SRX is kind of an interesting product because it's kind of been left to wither on the vine for quite a while, but I think it's always looked good and kind of stayed up to date. So now they've finally replaced it. The XT5 shows this new design language from Cadillac, a little bit more upright, a little boxier. Familiar stuff under the hood, 3.6 liter engine, uh, optional front or all wheel drive, and they've got a really good torque vectoring system directing power front to rear or side to side. Should be an interesting new uh, chapter in Cadillac SUVs. Now, if I'm looking a little blue, it's because I can't afford one of these. This is the new convertible version of the fabulous Mercedes S-Class. This is the first time, by the way, there's been a convertible S-Class in about 45 years. This is something that Mercedes customers were asking for because right now, the only big convertible you can get is the SL, which is a two-seater. They say this is more of a grand touring car, kind of a competitor to the BMW 6 Series. Anyway, the one that we're looking at is the AMG version, 5.5 liter twin turbo V8, 500 77 horsepower and they'll also have an S550 version. Pricing, well, they haven't announced it yet. We're probably looking at under $170,000 for the S550 and under $200,000 for the AMG version. So a real bargain compared to an island. This is the new Land Rover Range Rover Evoque convertible. Range Rover finally did something about the controversial roof line on that Evoque by taking it off. Now, uh, what can we say about this? Nissan has already tried this with the Murano convertible and they sold like four. But you know what? Range Rover is a much more desirable brand than Nissan, so maybe they will do better. Powertrain is a 240 horsepower, two liter, four cylinder engine, so at least if people laugh at you, you can get the hell out of there really quickly. Actually, I think this is a really cool idea. A Range Rover with it atop. I mean, what more can you want? It's California. I'm Aaron Gold, want to thank you for watching. We got lots of other good Los Angeles Auto Show content. Leave us a comment below, tell us what you think of the show and the cars that are here, and check out what we're doing on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.